Business has transformed over the past few years. Whether it's in terms of government policies, the economic landscape, or just customer needs. But business reporting for me still maintains its sanctity. My reporting follows the tradition of truth, and that's the most important element of my story. Good evening, you're watching Business Express. I'm Shelly Chopra with all your news in a nutshell, straight to the Lal Street then. To bring you the news that really matters. Today, from the day's low, the benchmark indices rose in the last hour of trade, helping the markets come back into shape a little bit. Breaking business headlines to political controversies. Yet a roller coaster ride from the world of sport and the glitz of entertainment, all in a single bulletin. That is a wrap on Business Express. A recap, though, of the top stories with Back. Shelly Chopra, it's a big turning point for the Indian telecom industry. Tough questions, looking for straight answers. The Supreme Court verdict is a mixed bag for the telecom sector. Everything that matters to the new economic thinking. We're going to be tracking all those developments. Thanks very much reporting here on that big story. We'll get your fill on politics and business on Top 10 at 10 with Supriya coming up next. Anshu Jain, thanks very much for joining us. How do you see the world economic recovery at this stage? Would you call it recovery? They may be right in, in, in some aspect of how they see the world. It, it, I, I, that does not change my view of what we do. Probably one of those places in the world where the world looks a little more positive, standing on Indian shores than it does with the rest of the world. You feel so? India kind of got through this whole global crisis without much damage like uh, you saw in the United States and a lot of other countries. The global economy needs change like never before. Can the new world economic order be rebalanced to bring in newer models of growth? That's the question driving the world's inspired leaders and change agents to Davos for the World Economic Forum this year. Bringing you all the live coverage there from Davos 2012, the World Economic Forum, a perspective really how real economy is doing, particularly from the Indian context. We believe innovation and technology are really the fulcrums of progress in the world. We invested uh, $527 million last year. India, particularly in the mass transit, is very important. We're building the metro for Delhi as an example. When will we finally see better quality of stuff being given to us in the telecom space? There will be difficulties and the government will again have to review, giving more spectrum for 3G. Europe especially is weighing on the minds of people, so what happens in Europe will determine the last degree that goes to the global economy. The virtue of Davos is it allows for an informality of conversation and for different parties, uh, business leaders, government leaders, NGOs, to, to talk in a very sort of unstructured fashion and I think there's a role for that. Watch ET Now's special coverage of exclusive interviews and panel discussions on Davos Direct. It's a sport that's steeped in the tradition of yesterday. Feel the thrill of the thundering hooves from the anticipation at the starting game for a race that's carved itself a niche in history. With the sport of kings, race day live. She poses her questions with precision and with delicate stroke play. Certainly is because it's swinging times for me and the bankers. It's a show about keeping business on the course. Imagine I can get every boss out of the boardroom, straight on the course and test their game, sometimes win over them. With me, Shelly Chopra, welcome to the show and our special guest today. Take a look. I'm not a good golfer. I've never played golf as, as much as I would like to. Naren Kartikin, thanks very much. Thank you. Such pleasure. I always seen in our country, the finance minister is always from the finance and he have that committee. <laughs> but the sports minister, never no. a sportsman. <laughs> Shelly Chopra is on ET Now.